Hey everyone, it's Corey, and today I'm going to be talking about apps. So if you think about it, every day we always, on our phones, have so many apps that we um, use for so many different things. Whether it's interacting with friends, meeting new people, managing TV shows, um, watching TV, reading emails, editing videos or photos. So there's basically apps for everything. So what I thought I would do is I would talk about apps that are my most used and least used. For my most used apps, I have Twitter. So one of my, Twitter is like one of the best apps for me. Um, I am a rabid tweeter. My Twitter is at underscore infinity Corey. Go follow me. You'll have a blast. And I also use the usual Facebook, Instagram, also Infinity Quarry. And then Snapchat. Snapchat is awesome. I love Snapchat. It's such fun. YouTube. I use YouTube on my phone a lot. That's how I mostly started watching YouTube videos was on my phone before I moved to a laptop. So. Now, I have a TV obsession, as you may have known. And I have two apps that I love to use for my TV. Gossip and... Basically just making sure I'm up to date with all my shows. So it's called Series Guide. Basically I have all my TV shows that I watch, plan to watch in the future, and it basically has its dates, its episode numbers, everything. It is such a good app. Unfortunately it's only for Android phones. Apple doesn't really have an equivalent. Another one is called Spoiler TV, and that's basically one of my favorite TV news websites. Um, and it had, they have their own app, which is pretty cool. And so basically messaging on Facebook is, you can't, you can't even do it through Facebook anymore. So I use Messenger and um, it's, and it's really cool. I have the little extensions so I can have like gifts. So much fun. Um, I can send stickers. Another one that I also have, but I check every day only because I get a notification and that's Time Hop. Time Hop is basically, it. you can sync up your different accounts Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Every day it shows sort of a throwback moment to like each year. Now I have a couple that are in the middle so that I do use them but I don't use them all the time. I would love to use them more and more and more but I just don't see the purpose of them. Or And that's Vine and Dub Smash. Now Vine, it was, I had a fad of Vine and Vine, I was like watching Vine videos every night. Um, it was so funny and they are still funny and there's some that are, are hilarious. Same with Dub Smash. Dub Smash is such a cool app with different sounds and I love using it. Um, and then there's other ones that I have downloaded because they were really cool or I wanted to do one purpose. Flipgram. So I wanted to make a video on Instagram where it sort of summed up my entire year a couple of years ago and that was everyone was doing it. So I downloaded it, I made the video, never used that one again. Um, the Netflix app. I use Netflix but I only watch it on my laptop. So I have the app if I would wish to use it. I downloaded an app last year when there was some serious weather and I wanted to see if the roads were safe to go on, getting to Union back. So Live Traffic New South Wales, it's a really good app. I actually do like the app. I just don't use it because I have no use for it. SoundCloud, there went, was a time where I would use SoundCloud a lot because I was listening to different types of music that I didn't really want to download or buy. SoundCloud is so so great to find new different artists, so I was using that. But once again, you get to a point where you, you, you don't really want to use it anymore, so you don't. Side note, because that's kind of both list, there are a lot of apps on your phone that you might have downloaded but you never use. So go check them out. Question for you, for you, right there. What are your most used apps and what are your least used apps? Tell me in the comments below. But yeah, thanks for watching. This has been a great creative video. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Sub subscribe. Comment your most and least favorite apps. And I will see you next week. Catch you later.